The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Cash on welcome to the Mind Body Spirit Show. This uh, will be very interesting show today. It will be a uh, one hour long, and we will really be speaking about the uh, diabetes epidemic, pandemic that's occurring throughout the world. And I'm going to hold up a couple of books which we'll use as references. Uh, and, and the main ones really are from England. Uh, and they've been studying this for a long period of time. And I will hold them uh, up for you. Uh, and uh, so it's your life without type 2 diabetes. Yeah, 90%. Why am I thinking that you might have it? Well, ninety. Uh, percent of the people in the world very well could have diabetes. Fifty percent we know have it now, but many of them have not been tested correctly. And I will talk to you uh, about that. So, uh, so I'm about preventing it. Preventing it. Our industry and hospital system uh, really uh, is about maintaining it. They give you the pills and the shots, and but that many people are stepping up to bat and want to prevent the disease. But these two doctors that I'm going to refer to uh, from England, and I want you to look at their YouTube shows. They're readily available. Uh, just uh, punch in Dr. David Unwin. David, U-N-W-I-N. Uh, YouTube shows on health, and, and there'll be 30, 40 of them show up. And, and watch them one at a time uh, at your leisure because it's going to take more education than what I've got to say. But in this one hour thing, you will have gained a lot of knowledge. The other one uh, is Professor Roy Taylor. Uh, and uh, uh, he wrote a book, Simple Guide to Reversing Type 2 Diabetes. Very easy to read. You can read it in a night. So these two books, which you see on your screen, uh, you can educate you through reading the science of it. They did their research. They ran huge uh, uh, studies. Matter of fact, Dr. Umwin right now uh, works uh, in the English as a socialized system. Uh, and, and they have about 9,000 patients, about five doctors. And he himself uh, really didn't know much about this till a patient walked in one day who was part of a group that had slowly gathered, 40,000 people had slowly gathered on the internet uh, and discovered that through proper eating, selecting the proper food, that you could get rid of diabetes mm -hmm. quickly quickly. And to show you how quickly, not that I'm saying yes or no to it, but it, uh, and these doctors discovered too that gastric bypass where they staple your stomach, for example, make it extremely small, your diabetes is gone in seven days. That's been, pro been proven, but you still got a small stomach. and. And, and surgery is not without risk, and the long-term effects, uh, 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 there's some complications there too. 
Uh, and so, but that's a choice. You know, that, that's a choice. Uh, so let's go through this. So probably 90% of the world is, is diabetic if properly tested. Yeah. Uh, and you say, well, why am I worried about diabetes? Because it is associated with it about 20 or 30 serious diseases, heart attacks, strokes, dementia, cancer, uh, liver disease, re renal disease, amputations, dislocations, skin disease. I could go on and on, but this could be avoided. This could be avoided. That's why I'm so passionate uh, uh, about it. Uh, even now, if you go to YouTube, Rudy Cashman, uh, Facebook, uh, Rudy, Rudy Cashman, uh, uh, you will, I'll have, you wouldn't believe this, over 700 TV shows done right here at the Fort Wayne Public Library. And I thank Andrew Carnegie years ago for donating the money uh, that I've been doing this 13 years. And now India is looking at this. They have so much diabetes in India, they couldn't take care of it. Their ambassador called me up a few, few months ago uh, and asked permission to use my YouTube shows, of course. But you could very easily uh, uh, look at them uh, yourself for additional information. Uh, half hour on diabetes, uh, one hour shows and other things. But this show here is to give you a more, more detailed description of the diabetes uh, thing. So, yeah, that, that, that the gastric bypass, uh, but there's some risks involved. Now we have uh, drugs coming along, the GLP-1 inhibitors. You hear about um, Ozempic, Manjaro, uh, and, and, and I didn't say totally no to them. I'm going to review them in more detail in, in my half hour show, but, but they're pros and they're cons. You get to know both sides, but these drugs are coming along, uh, and eventually I think they will have a huge impact uh, on stopping and reversing diabetes, but the long-term effects have not been well studied. So gather information, gather information. And now uh, I have a guest in my next show. He's telling me uh, that uh, the drugs are not available for a certain period of time. So it's, it's complex, okay? Uh, so uh, I would like you to read uh, uh, Dr. Unwin's uh, uh, Roy Taylor's book here because he describes the science of this uh, uh, very well. Uh, so it's a, it's a pandemic in the world. It, it's everywhere. Uh, and let me tell you a couple of things. 25% of the people in the world have a fatty liver. Yes, a fatty liver which, which sends the sugar and fats to the pancreas and that causes diabetes. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, 3.7 million people in the world died from the coronavirus from the virus, okay, okay. But 4.2 million died from diabetes. And the government hands over heel worked on the viral thing. When the virus is a sugar eater, more people died from diabetes. 4.2 million in the world died from diabetes. Probably more than that uh, because uh, as a cause of death, uh, uh, they, sometimes put the incorrect diagnosis uh, uh, in there. Uh, so, uh, so more people die from diabetes than in the coronavirus. Uh, and pro probably 1.5 billion people may have prediabetes or diabetes. Yes, billion in the world. Uh, so, and, and, and what these two doctors are, saying is, which is kind of interesting, you know, I used to think, and a lot of people think if you're awake, you, you may, you may be a diabetic. You probably are a diabetic, but that's not true. Uh, because they studied them in, in detail, uh, and, and they're saying, uh, that, uh, half the people that are overweight are not diabetic, but they did not test them for serum insulins, which, are, uh, and triglycerides, which are elevated 
before your blood sugar is up. So are they really testing uh, these people that are overweight correctly? So, uh, but there's such a thing as trophies, thin on the outside, but fat in the inside. They have fat in their liver, fat in their pancreas, and if you have fat in your pancreas, you, you're not secreting insulin correctly, and you're, you're diabetic. So that, so are we diagnosing overweight people correctly? We're not shaming. We're not saying it's good or bad because uh, we eat the things that make us overweight. We're in a very busy world. Uh, processed food is going around us. We're so busy, we're just grabbing something and go to work. So no one's being critical of anything. We're just looking for the science here. Uh, uh, so uh, you can run tests early, like serum insulin. I personally think we should be running serum insulins on children starting at age three. Just look at the work of Joseph Kraft, K-R-A-F-T. You can see him on YouTube. He's 96 years old, the show is still there, but he has died since. He was a neuropathologist from Chicago, and he published papers in the, in the, last, centu in the last century, yes. We already uh, knew then he ran curves on serum insulins and how to diagnose people very early, because even now I notice they uh, approved uh, uh, these GLP-1 inhibitors like, like uh, or Zempi Manjaro for kids to age six. That's sad. Why were they doing that? Because they're overweight. They're overweight. They may be di probably are a diabetic. So I'm pushy about getting tests. Get tested. Oh, I don't have diabetes. That doesn't mean anything to me. Have you had a serum insulin? That does mean something to me. Your blood sugar, your HbA1c, and the serum insulin, and and what. These doctors did, did research too, proved uh, that uh, that fat in the liver. Remember, I said 25% of the world is fat in the liver, and, and they, they're, they're feeling fine. Uh, and a good test for fat in the liver is ALT. It's a good liver test. A few years before the sugar goes up, the ALT is elevated. And also, another one they mentioned is G gamma, GGT. G, G, T, A, L, T, serum, insulin. These tests uh, are elevated before, oh, you're a diabetic, because the earlier you catch it, the earlier you can reverse it. The length of time makes a lot. If you, you've had diabetes for 20, 30 years, you can, you can still reverse it, believe it or not. I'll tell you about it later. Uh, but it would be a lot faster, a lot less complications. Uh, and the reason I'm a little passionate about this, too, is uh, Vietnam War, Korean War, they autopsied the, the ones that were killed in the war, uh, and we autopsied Koreans, Vietnamese, and American soldiers that were normal weight. You know what they found? Uh, that the Vietnamese, the Koreans, their blood, their blood vessels were clean. They autopsied the Americans, and they had fatty streaks, which is early vascular disease in Americans of normal weight, of normal weight. Uh, and uh, th so we need to test people very young. Get your children tested. I don't, I don't even have to look at the people. Show me your blood work. That's the bottom line. Your blood work is the bottom line. So let's continue on this, uh, uh, on the path. So, uh, but there's room for optimism. Uh, and because uh, if the tests are abnormal and we do something uh, about it, like lo lose some weight, get the fat out of the liver, get the fat out of the pancreas, we can prevent, stop, and even reverse the disease. You know, we always heard uh, that your glomerular filtration rate, heart disease and kidney disease are highly related. And these dialysis center, if your GFR is below 25, you may need to get dialyzed. And that's it. You got to go to the center or, they, or you do it in your house. Your life has changed and you only live so long with that. What Dr. Umman found and Dr. Taylor 
found if you switch uh, and, and get the fat out of the liver and, and, and the uh, fat out, out of the uh, pancreas, the pancreas, the, the, the beta cells that make the insulin, they're not dead, that they'll the majority of the time wake up and use the secrete normal insulin and, and you always hear that your GFR slowly goes down, you know, mine's 80, which is pretty good for my age, 39 for the 48th time. <laughs> okay, add it up. And uh, 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 is that the GFR, they always said it cannot be reversed, the dialysis centers will tell you what. What these guys found that indeed, if you switch to a healthy keto way of eating or a, a low sugar way of eating, that the GFR can go back up. Yes, they proved it. They proved it. Hardly anybody knows that. You go to uh, speak to your doctor or speak to the Alice Center, as you know, it's a progressive general course. You need to be dialyzed now or you'll be dead. Well, they're wrong, okay? So that's the reason for, for the science. So uh, uh, what's the fundamental problem? Uh, it is the fat in the liver, uh, which delivers fat to the pancreas and kills and, and puts the beta cells to sleep. The majority of them can wake up again uh, and uh, send sugar into the blood system. Uh, and uh, when we sleep at night, for example, it's the liver supplying sugar to keep us alive and to feed our brain instinct. So, but, but that, that, if you get the fat out of the pancreas, the liver, uh, it can be reversed. It's the, that's the good news. It can be reversible. They used to think you have diabetes, it, it's progressive, not reversible. Wrong. So Unwin and Taylor gave us hope. This is a, a big thing. And remember uh, what I said about gastric bypass surgery uh, in, in seven days, but you can do the same thing uh, through fasting. You fast for seven days, same thing, same thing. But you can do variations of that, and we'll speak about that, okay? Uh, so uh, uh, many doctors, physicians still believe diabetes is reversible because the first thing they want to hand give you a shot or a pill. I'm telling you how to get rid of all the medicine. Look at the money you're saving. Well, Dr. Unwin, Dr. Taylor in England, remember they have this socialized system. Uh, they are now uh, uh, teaching how to people how to prevent and reverse diabetes, and they're not having to spend the money, and they're saving them a lot of money. But this is about individuals. You yourself wouldn't have to buy uh, some of these drugs that are co at tremendous cost wouldn't have to take all the medications, wouldn't get all these diseases. Wake up, wake up, wake up. The information I'm providing for you today. And uh, so they're doing research here. Uh, and Dr. Uh, Unwin uh, woke up to the problem that diabetes uh, was stop or reversible and it taught it to him, as I mentioned earlier. A patient had taught it to him, but, but he is a man of a good heart, and, and he listened. A lot of us who believe certain things are close-minded, no matter what we say, no matter what proof we have, we don't change our mind. But that's not Dr. Unwin. He has new information, he listens. And, and if, if he, he thinks it's good information, he changes. And so did Dr. Taylor. And they studied the patients uh, at their uh, university in England for many years and ran studies. So in 2006, they did research at the Newcastle University. Uh, uh, doc, Dr. Taylor was a professor there. Uh, uh, and, uh, and they put in a M MRA, M MRI machine, yeah, a very up-to-date, the latest uh, they hired people even from the United States, physicists, the most brilliant people in the world. Uh, and, then, and then they had a eureka moment 
moment after looking at uh, uh, the scans they did on their people, non-diabetics and diabetics, and they, they were able to see the fat uh, in the liver and, and, and the pancreas and all over the body and in the subcutaneous tissue and in, in the other organs. Uh, and so they had a eureka moment, 2000 and 2011, and published many scientific papers. You, you can find them, the easiest thing would be to the library and tell them you want the scientific papers of Dr. Taylor, Dr. Nguyen, if you happen to want to read that. But if you read the books, you, you don't have to do that. And uh, so, uh, uh, and, uh, and it came down to one, one factor, one factor, too much fat in the liver and the pancreas. They came right down to that. So what is type two diabetes? Type one is where you make no insulin. The pancreas is totally dead. Uh, and autoimmune reactions can do the reaction to the casein in milk. Uh, it can be done to eating uh, certain vegetables. Uh, uh, and the gluten, for example, can cause an autoimmune reaction. Your pancreas just shrivels up to nothing, and there are no beta cells, and you gotta take some insulin. Yes, but the interesting thing is, what I see a lot today, that the type one diabetics who have no insulin, uh, uh, that they have these meters and they, they eat anything they want to and, 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 uh, uh, and b because what they ate caused their blood sugar to go tremendously high. And those people live a little longer, uh, but they die 20 years before their time because they're not eating well. They, they're using a, a, a thousand, uh, 200, 200 units of insulin versus 10 or 20. So, Type 1 diabetics need to pay attention to. Uh, and uh, the uh, type 2 diabetes is, uh, is where we have too much sugar, uh, too much insulin. The insulin takes the sugar, puts it in the cell. And what does the cell do? It goes like this. So people who are on insulin, the majority of them are overweight. Yes. So we're making things worse, not better. Uh, and uh, so, and when you eat a meal, say, of pasta and some um, starchy vegetables, uh, it's like eating three teaspoonful of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. I've got a little graph with me. It, I just don't think it demonstrates things well enough but I'm going to hold it up anyway, okay? I have smaller copies of this, and if you see me, I'll give you a free copy. That tells you, uh, because Dr. Unwin felt, Dr. Taylor felt that we get to know how much is sugar in the food you're eating. Some, a lot of us don't know. So they did a, they, uh, did a Instagram, a, a thing that you can look at to see it a lot easier. And what he uses, teaspoons full of sugar. So, and it, if you can get a copy online for free, look on, on when, uh, infograph, infograph, information graph, graphic, graphic, and they'll come up and you can copy it off of there, uh, which is uh, wh what I did. I had. I had a FedEx do it, and then they printed me a bunch of copies. If you see me personally, I got a, some extra copies. I gladly get them to you. And, uh, but you can, you can get them off the internet. Just take a picture of them. And, uh, uh, and l let me give you an example. So you get like basmati rice. Rice is sugar. You put it on the internet, it says zero sugar. But you put in carbohydrates, 90% sugar. So uh, sugar can be carbohydrates are the, are the, are the same. Let me give you some example. Ba basmati rice uh, here, he's got a, about 12 teaspoons full of sugar. No wonder the ambassador to India called me because they're used to eating some rice, so their sugar level was up. But then they had a processed food on top of that now 90% of India is diabetic. They're most diabetics in the world. 
That's why they call me to look at my YouTube shows. And now that, and they're translating my information uh, in, in, into other dialects uh, and languages. And, and the, most people have a phone and they can look on their phone and learn how to get rid of diabetes using my information, information from these books, from these uh, books. Another example, a, a white potato uh, boiled, 11 teaspoonful of sugar in potato. Potato is full of sh sugar. Yeah. Let's look at eggs. I had a, one egg this morning, zero teaspoonful of sugar. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Uh, an apple, two, spoons, two teaspoons full. But some of the apples you see today uh, have coverings on them of different colors, and they uh, uh, can produce sugars too. So an apple, you got to be a little careful, because they, they uh, uh, and spaghetti uh, has in it 6.6 .6 teaspoonful of sugar. Uh, so uh, these give you a good idea uh, how much sugar you're eating. And I would suggest you get a hold of one of these. You can print them off the online and put it on your refrigerator <laughs> in case you're having a little bit of trouble. Okay, a very interesting concept. So that's a visual demonstration. He, uh, they have other infographs uh, that uh, are available online. Remember I said, I want you to look at YouTube shows of Dr. Taylor, Dr. Unwin especially. Uh, it's very important to educate yourself because you don't want diabetes. A lot of people are like this about it, incorrectly diagnosed, and then they need their leg amputated because they were on the path and they were not diagnosed. Uh, and uh, so, uh, why is glucose elevated even before breakfast? I myself, uh, which is a, really an easy way to do it, no, no medical reason, I weigh under 35 pounds, 88 years old, and uh, healthy, all, all blood tests normal. Am I bragging? No, I'm not bragging. I'm demonstrating to you. And I didn't have any disease, but I used to weigh more. I looked at I saved the pants. I just moved recently, so I still had a saved the pants from 20 years ago, and it is significantly better. Uh, what they have found, too, what uh, these two doctors have found, uh, that uh, a patient is much more likely to be diabetic if the waist size increased. So th there's more to this weight thing than you think. I mean, they're trying to tell me uh, that uh, a good 50, 70 percent of the people who are overweight are not diabetic. They didn't test them right. Uh, I, I t myself don't tend to believe it, and that, but if you're the same waist size uh, that, you're, that you were at age in your 20s, 20, 25, odds are you're not diabetic, but I would still get a blood test. We are what our blood tests are, and get your children tested, because many of them go on to be a diabetic when you could have stopped it at a, at a young age. Uh, don't addict your children. Uh, to sugar. Uh, so uh, type 2 diabetes, we lose the regulation of our sugar, okay? And uh, so one of the treatments today, remember I said gastric by, uh, bypass, um, and, and another one is to inject injects some of these GLP-1 inhibitors. I think down the line, I didn't say not to do it. I think down the line they will uh, be tremendously useful because they will refine them better. You won't have to inject them. You can take them out as a pill. It's going to happen, but you got to learn the science uh, of it because there's good parts. Your diabetes gone quickly. You will come back uh, if you don't continue taking it or develop a better lifestyle, okay, and to keep it away. So know the positive and the negatives. A lot of you find online my YouTube shows. And uh, uh, so, uh, but if your sugar is elevated, uh, most of us would be insulin resistant in about 10 years of eating the wrong food. We may feel fine, we may feel good, we may look good, 
but vast disease is occurring. Remember what I told you about the soldiers, the Korean, the Vietnamese, and the Americans? You're getting vast disease while you're, fe while you're feeling good. And uh, so children should be tested starting age three, especially so, as said by Dr. Kraft. He's aptly correct, and he put that information out there years ago. I, he, he had a great book, two out of 100 copies. I gave 99 away, and I can't find the other copy. But you can, you can uh, actually print it uh, off uh, the internet. So put on Amazon, books of Dr. Kraft, and see if you can get a copy. You could read it in two days. But what he has to say is critical, critical. Okay, I never, never uh, spoke to a doctor that even knew his name. Yeah, it's true. Sad, should be taught in the medical school. And uh, so these two doctors ran some studies, long-term studies, uh, uh, and uh, the, to uh, see if they could find causes for the diabetes. And uh, so, uh, why do these two doctors know so much? Because England records your, once, your blood tests since the day you were born, and they stored it now for over 30 years. They have all that data. That's not, it doesn't exist in the U.S. We have hospitals here. Some even have very, very good uh, electronic systems, but they don't interconnect to the next hospital, like in this town, okay? They have individual pretty good systems. Uh, we should be connected in the whole nation, and it should be kept. Uh, you know what they, what they do in France is voted the best healthcare system in the world. Uh, uh, they they have a card like a credit card, and they call it Card Vitale. Since you're born, you're given a Card Vitale, and all the information from the day you're born all your life is on that credit card. You walk in a doctor's office, you stick it in there, and your health information for a lifetime shows up. Yes, how wonderful that is. We, we, we need that. We wouldn't have so much uh, diabetes and all these chronic diseases, but uh, our medical system is making a lot of money off the sick people. Maybe that's why they don't want to change, because this information is out there. But that doesn't stop me from pushing the envelope. I've even been to the hospitals, okay? Uh, so, but the data is really important. Uh, so, e energy metabolism uh, is it, it, not difficult, okay? Insulin is the master key, uh, okay? And uh, only two fuels are burned in your body, glucose and fat, protein, when you eat some protein, 80% uh, of the protein in your body is recycled that I use playing pickleball or tennis or walking. That's recycled every day, same amino acids. So you only 20% uh, is metabolized that you're eating. If you're eating too much protein, bodybuilders don't really know that, realize this because all the hormones they take and injections and lifting all these sets of weights and they get getting bigger. I tell you why a lot of them are getting bigger. It's fat, <laughs> it's not muscle. Yes, uh, if you take more protein than your body needs, and I realize that body builder would need a little more, that, that it's converted to sugar. You only need to eat about 20, of, of the calories you're eating every day, 20, 25% protein, that's all you need, yeah. and, and to eat a pure vegetarian diet, you, meat makes B12 and other minerals, uh, so you to say, uh, well, eat a plant way, your diabetes will go away. Well, you'll be better, uh, but uh, you will not be good as you can be by a long shot, because you're not getting the, the vitamins and the minerals that are only in meat. So omnivore is a better way of eating, incidentally. If you want to read a book called uh, The Plant-Based Con, C-O-N, Plant-Based, I read the book. You'll go like this after reading it, is what misinformation 
is being thrown out there. And there are big associations, uh, uh, huge movements that are strictly based on that. Uh, uh, the, the, and, and you need to look, look them up. And, uh, and, they, and they're huge. So uh, and the reason we get diabetes, diabetes means your blood sugar is elevated. OK, type 2, type 2. And um, caused by the pancreas not making insulin fast enough. OK, the insulin doesn't work properly. Uh, the immediate problems include if you close to being full-blown diabetes, you, you're going to get more thirsty. You're going to urinate more often. Um, and the original description of diabetes, as a matter of fact, what they found is that uh, the dogs are lapping up uh, the urine uh, because it was, sweet. It, was, it was sweet. That's how they eventually determined uh, what diabetes was all about. So, uh, and remember I talked about there's no such thing as pre-diabetes. If your HbA1c um, is over 5.7, you say to 6.4, the HbA test measures three months uh, of sugar. Okay, when your sugar has been the last three months, but I want you to get the same insulin uh, because you're diagnosed it much earlier, 10 to 15 years, and the changes that are occurring in your body without symptoms could be totally uh, avoided. Oh, you may be one of these um, people, 50% of all heart attacks, if you have no warning. Actually, I had a friend die that way, he's playing tennis, 15 years younger than me, grabbed his chest and he died. No warning, no engine, nothing. Nothing, he just died. Uh, so he must have had something going on or it could be a reason that I don't know, okay? Uh, but the long-term complications of diabetes are very serious. Uh, the usual treatment, pills and shots. And after about 10 years, you, you need insulin, but insulin stores fat. So uh, our conventional idea is that uh, diabetes is, is, is a, a lifetime uh, illness. It's wrong, wrong. You can get rid of it. Uh, what they will tell you is learn to live with it. Take the tablets, take the injections. In 10 years, you'll, you'll need the insulin. Uh, metformin is a drug commonly given. Uh, that's the first drug, not an injection. It's a pill. Uh, the cell membrane feels hungry and pulls sugar in. The sugar level goes down a little bit. It's, it's cheap. It's the size of a horse pill. Uh, but it does have some side effects, which can involve many of the bowels. Uh, but it can help the blood sugar. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, but the weight increases much more with insulin shots, okay? Uh, and the, the problem with insulin shots, too, uh, is that it, can, it, 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 it acts much more strongly, and it can put the blood sugar down. You can go into hypoglycemia, too low blood sugar, and you could, you could die from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, unless you quickly take in some sugary cubes or something. Uh, so uh, it has side effects. So uh, insulin increases weight. Almost all diabetics who are insulin are overweight, and that can help make things uh, uh, better. Uh, if for, if for example, uh, when people have sedentary jobs and they stop in a restaurant and they eat out all the time, their belly uh, gets, gets bigger. I don't think, I'm not aware that someone's tested a thousand truck drivers, but I would bet you I mean, over half are diabetic and they're driving down the highway with three, four hundred milligrams of sugar in their blood. Mm -hmm. These big trucks, look, look, look at truck drivers and they get out of the truck. But like I said, unwin, uh, 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 would say they're not all diabetic, but I say check their serum insulin, check their GGT, their liver, check their triglycerides. Triglycerides are generally elevated 
on the path to diabetes 2 and certainly the triglyceride HDL, the good cholesterol, uh, uh, they can be abnormal. So check that. Uh, let's talk about the pancreas. It's kind of below, below the stomach. The back of it is on the um, uh, back of the spine. It's kind of hidden below, below the, the liver. Uh, and it, it, it makes more things than insulin. Uh, it, it also makes glucagon, uh, which can raise the blood sugar um, in, in some digestive hormones that makes that, that, that are involved uh, with uh, fat metabolism. So it's hard to study because it's kind of hidden and, and we've, it's been difficult. Uh, what about the size of the pancreas? They found uh, uh, that if you're type 1 diabetic and you don't produce an insulin, all those pancreases, which you can demonstrate very well on, uh, on, on MRI scans, for example, ultrasound. And ultrasound tests, incidentally, can detect fat in the pancreas or in the liver earlier than a blood test. Keep that in mind. I, I was speaking to somebody who, run, who has an ultrasound machine at, in a hospital and they charge $235 but maybe a serum insulin uh, uh, more of a bottom line but uh, what they showed the ultrasound is abnormal shows fat in the liver and the pancreas before the blood tests are abnormal but to use an ultrasound for screening on everyone I don't know but be open-minded about it and that uh, but in the type 2 diabetic, the pancreas is, is shrunken too. Uh, and you say, well, the beta cells, the insulin secreting cells, they're dead. Well, they have found out that they're 90% of them are not dead. That even if you had type 2 diabetes 20, 30 years, and you start eating right and get, lose weight and get the fat out of the pancreas and the liver, the pancreas will wake up. It has not been murdered. It was just asleep. Uh, and Dr. Fung from Canada, who published a lot of great books, uh, worth reading too, Jason Fung, uh, he said uh, patients uh, that had diabetes 30 years and their, once the fat was out of there, uh, the pancreas woke up and secreting insulin again and they had to stop the shots. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting. So there's hope. Remember I said there's, there's hope. Uh, so it shrinks in diabetes, um, and and, uh, and fat builds up, uh, and and they found they could look under the microscope at pieces of the uh, uh, pancreas, and it looked like uh, the insulin secreting uh, beta cells had died, and and the insulin, the chemical itself, in the mic the inside the cell looked like it was gone. But you know they used dyes to, to demonstrate them and find out that. Uh, so uh, what these two doctors from England speak about a great deal too is PFT, personal fat threshold. Um, uh, in other words. You can't tell just by looking at people what their personal fat threshold is. We are all individuals. We must be treated as individuals uh, and, and not be generalized. It's the doctor and me are speaking to each other. And, and some of us deposit fat in the liver and pancreas a lot easier than others. Some of the trophies do it. Remember, I spoke about it thin on the outside. Fat on the inside, they, they uh, do it much easier than another person. There are other people that may be overweight and not be diabetic. I didn't say uh, that all overweight people are diabetic. No, get a blood test. Show me your blood test or get an ultrasound. Let, let's, let, let's have a look. So we all have a personal fat threshold and some of that is determined clearly by genetics. Mm -hmm. I'd see a whole family one time at one of the restaurants, they're all sitting like this, you know, and talking about 
uh, a Tabanaki t uh, table, and they all looked overweight. And, I th and I'm saying to my to my wife, well, they're probably all diabetics, and and and, and, and that's not true. It's really not not true. Some may be, some maybe not, but. Um, or a f whole family, there are a lot of diabetics in this, in this family, but there is some gene connection. They m may be more prone to react to eating the wrong food. Because you notice some people eat the wrong food, they're, they're never sick. So keep in mind, so genetics does play a part, but it's genetic expression by the type of food that they eat. They can kind of keep the genes at bay by eating the uh, uh, co correct food. Uh, and, and then you might say, well, what, 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 what is the correct food? And, 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 and that can be um, uh, complex. And what these two doctors talk about, too, is the twin, the twin energy cycles. One cycle is in the liver. Remember I said uh, they uh, can deposit fat you can have fat in the liver, incidentally, and your blood tests don't show anything, all the liver tests are normal. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the reason uh, the scan can be helpful there. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then there's a pancreas cycle uh, uh, also, uh, where a lot of sugar and fat goes to the uh, pancreas. So the, they speak about the twin cycles, an excellent way of uh, uh, des describing it. Uh, uh, and uh, so, uh, again, I mentioned uh, is that they developed an excellent MRI center in England in 2006 or so to help study the patients. And they did a study called the Counterpoint Study. Um, uh, and, and to their uh, surprise uh, that they were able to demonstrate in thin people some fat in, in the uh, uh, pancreas. Uh, and then uh, they formed another study, counterpoint study, uh, and, uh, and they woke up to the point uh, uh, that fat in the liver and the pancreas were, were, were really the major problem. And then they formed a counterbalance study. Uh, so they, they really spent a, a lot of money, a lot of time uh, studying things. Now, y you would say, well, what am I going to do? Uh, how am I going to correct the problem uh, th that I get? Uh, and if you read these books, uh, especially um, uh, the book of uh, Dr. Roy Taylor, the name of his book, Reversing Type 2 Diabetes, and they'll take the one, two, or three steps. The different ways. Now I notice uh, Dr. Uh, uh, David Unwin on his YouTube shows. I, I notice now uh, he's changing a little bit too. Remember, he's willing to adopt things, and he has a keto way of eating uh, right on his show, which is what I teach: Rudy's War on Diabetes, sixteen eight. So fasting, skipping breakfast, our brain secretes about five different hormones in the morning to keep our blood sugar like this. Yeah, growth hormones, uh, steroids, uh, gut hormones, the adrenaline, the appetite hormone goes down. So I play pickleball uh, in the morning. I've eaten nothing. And then the, the sports thing does something else too. And at noon, I don't even feel like eating. So I'm eating two meals a day. The quickest way to get rid of diabetes would be to go keto, K-E-T-O, learn, learn about it. Uh, uh, and if you feel like a, uh, a, you know, I skip breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. I'm not, I'm not hungry. Uh, no, no, app no uh, appetite. Uh, so, uh, but if you're seriously uh, overweight and you want to eat three meals a day, I highly suggest, I highly suggest that you maybe buy this book. Simply Keto by Susan Ryan. It is just fantastic book, fantastic book, because she is in there. It is three meals a day, but you could always not eat the breakfast one. Pictures, and then she tells you 
uh, the amount of fat, calories, protein, total carbs. And, and I generally recommend eating 50, 60, 70 percent good fats. Learn what good fats are. 20, 25 percent protein, uh, and the rest of vegetables and carbohydrates. Remember what I said. Uh, uh, food pyramid. She has in there. She, she lost 130 pounds. She's beautiful. Her and her husband both were like this. Now they're like that. So she has the pictures, and and it's like 39 bucks in Amazon books, but you can buy it used for five bucks. I recently, yes, I recently gave a talk at a church, uh, and and there were about uh, uh, 20 ladies I was speaking to, one man maybe, and they all looked overweight, and I thought, how can I best educate them? Uh, and, and I decided, uh, uh, I, I decided uh, to order the Simply Keto book by Susan Ryan, five bucks used, and it looked like it's brand new, uh, uh, and I gave them each a copy free. It cost me very little money, uh, and they all lost uh, 10, 15 pounds, and the diabetes went away. And, and they, when I walked in the last, uh, last lecture I gave to them, uh, they all gave me a hug. So that, that's a good way, okay? Another way, that, that's another good way. Remember I said uh, about, about the two meals a day, I think is a good way. Uh, another uh, uh, way uh, would be uh, just to learn what good foods, what good fats are, and just follow the pyramid and, and make your own meals is another great way, but cook yourself, that's important. You can eat out, actually, uh, but you got to select the food, you know, uh, that you pick, especially if you eat two meals. Uh, it almost doesn't matter what the second meal you order is, you'll be, the fasting thing is a quick way to get rid of, uh, to get rid of um, uh, uh, diabetes. So I encourage you to read, get both these books. The cheapest can be Life Without Diabetes, $9.99. I bet you can buy used copies on Amazon, even cheaper than that, but Roy Taylor, because they have the path. In, in the end, they have the one, two, three method where you can strict calories for two months and then reinstitute regular food. It's too complex. I want it to be simple, but the information about your uh, personal a fat profile. We each are different. Our genetics are different. Uh, so you have to be treated as the individual. But to get the blood test done, yeah, promise me you'll do that. But I want you to gather some information. And, 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 and if you want to do the one, two, three method, get this book by Roy Taylor. And he summarizes actually uh, uh, the, the science leading up to the one, two, three. Uh, that'd be a good way, uh, uh, really. You want, and then look at the YouTube shows, especially Dr. David Unman. He, he constantly posting something new, um, uh, and, and, and take a few minutes uh, every day. You want to gather a lot of information because, because you don't want uh, diabetes and it's 30 diseases. No way. A lot of dementia is even associated with like most of Alzheimer's disease associated with diabetes that can be avoided. And, and look at my YouTube shows, uh, Amazon, um, Facebook, uh, they're all on there, Rudy Cashman. There'll be all types of health lectures on there. Uh, and the ones on pain and, and headaches and uh, weight loss and, and every subject that you could dream up. I've been doing <laughs> 13 years. That's why India wants to look at uh, my shows. And I think I, I am demonstrating for you uh, what I'm teaching you, okay? Uh, and, and you say, you're lucky. No, I, I used to weigh a little bit more. I didn't have any disease, but, but, uh, but that I could, at, the, at uh, age 88, play pickleball regularly. I tap dance regularly. Um, I joined the Fred Astaire Studio recently because I want to learn to, to <laughs> entertain you 
uh, with some of the Fred Astaire things. I'll never be as good as him, but I'll be tap dancing and dancing and uh, singing, a, singing a song. And the next show, I'll bring Elon along so I can uh, talk, talk to my little papa today, but I had too much to carry. So I, but he's doing fine. He's learning to tap dance, too. And maybe one of the shows I'll show you him singing and tap dancing. I like Fred Astaire. Well, it could be a dream of mine. <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, and watch some of my uh, other shows uh, because you want to gather uh, uh, information. And, uh, but, and, and get the t testing done. Remember I said on the path as time goes on, no matter what your weight is, GGT, ALT, these are liver tests because there could be fat in, in your liver uh, and that's in the serum insulin being the most important. The insulin, the reason that's so important, it has many other effects. Insulin is a growth hormone. Uh, and if you have diabetes, you're more likely to get cancer, for example, uh, beca uh, because your sugar is up. Your cancer is a sugar feeder. Otto Warburg proved that in the 1930s. He lived in Germany, and, and, and he survived it. And he showed uh, that we have uh, metabolism with oxygen, without oxygen, aerobic, anaerobic, but cancer cells picked um, uh, anaerobic me metabolism without oxygen. Um, and, uh, but it takes more sugar, it takes more sugar. And a cancer cell uses about 13 times as much sugar as a normal cell, which is interesting about the virus too. We had the coronavirus, okay? The virus, incidentally, which hardly anybody knows. I talk to most people, they do not know it, is that the viruses have no metabolic system. A bacteria has a metabolic system. They, the gut helps those guys, feeds them the sugar from your food. But a virus has no metabolic system. It enters the cell and steals the sugar in the cell. So if you are uh, eating a high sugar diet, for example, you're, f you're feeding the cancer. You're feeding the cancer. So uh, cancer patients should be a keto way of eating, eating a low sugar diet and a keto way of eating uh, uh, good fats. They're delicious. They're delicious. Uh, it's not that I didn't say cut back in food. Uh, I, I said eat different food. All cancer patients should be on keto. I must say the cancer centers don't bring that up. They just give you a drug. And actually most of the hospitals uh, mo and most of the drugs, I, I went along with a patient recently had severe cancer. And I said, well, how many patients has this drug cured? Well, the guy said, oh, we don't know. The, the, the company uh, is, is, is running an experiment. Wait a minute. The experiments are my friend. And they pay the hospital a lot of money, a lot of money. They even get some to the doctor. Uh, and they don't teach them the keto way. So in summary, I hope uh, you will join me in the world which I'm trying to get them to change. But read these things I recommend uh, to you. Uh, this show will be looked at from the people from India, I'm sure, because that's what they do. They translate into the languages. I've even had the Congo call me. So, uh, but I enjoyed speaking to you today. I hope you watch our next shows, go to YouTube, Rudy Cashman, YouTube, Amazon. It, it, it's all on there. And I, I love you. I care about you. That's the reason that I, I do this show. If you see me walking on the street, walk up and give me a hug. 
or maybe tap dance with me. <laughs> See you. Love you. Bye-bye.